Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Let's Play on the channel. My name is Rolando. You guys also know me as the Mr. Right One. So as we start this journey back to uploading content on a regular basis, I thought we would start with a game that's a little bit more casual, a little bit more laid back to get back into the swing of things. So the game we're going to play today is called Trine 4. And if you guys aren't familiar with Trine, it's more of an adventure platformer game uh, style. And uh, I'm really looking forward to playing with it. And it's not going to be too demanding, so it should come out great on YouTube once it finally compresses it and everything. So before we start, guys, if you would like to see this series continue, I do plan on playing it through. But if you want to see the videos go up faster, all you have to do is hit that like button. And it lets me know that you like the game and I will uh, upload videos more frequently. With that being said, feel free to even pause the game and go ahead and give it a like now just in case you forget. So without further ado, let's play Tron. I don't want to swap controller. All right. Oh, these I'm gonna have to get used to these mechanics. All right. Um, one thing is that the music sounds really loud. That might help. I'm okay with the effects. By my trousers! What lunacy is this? That should be good. Um, visuals. Brightness is good, custom, 2x texture. I think everything looks good right now. Keep everything on medium. And hopefully this saves. New game. What's unlimited? In unlimited mode, you can play with two to four players, each able to play with any of the characters. In classic, you can play with two to three players with each character available to you one at a time. Huh. Let's let's just play classic then, because I think I'm gonna be playing this by myself. Gain difficulty normal. Standard batters, elite monsters appear. Fewer enemies appear in battle. There are no elite monsters. Let's do normal. Hopefully I don't get destroyed. I mean I'm pretty decent at game, so we'll see. Oh man, it feels good to be playing games again. I can tell you that much. Once upon a time, Amadeus the wizard was waking up in a cottage high up in the mountains. He was far, far away from home, attending a wizarding conference with his fellow wizards. And that morning, he decided a trip to the mailbox was in order. Even if this box was located at a very inconvenient distance. Time to find that mailbox. Okay. Alright, so I can move around. Have to use the left stick. Whoa! That's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. Oh, and look at that little... Looks like a little griffin in the back. Oh, that's awesome. Hold on real quick, guys. I want to make sure my recording and everything is set up properly. Alright, so everything seems to be okay. But who knows? All right. Well, the game looks good. I've seen, seen. I'm checking. I'm checking my game. Uh, the playing part looks good. There's a little bit of stuttering, so hopefully that doesn't look too bad when the video actually renders. It's a bit nippy in here. It is. It is. I don't know what those little things do. Whoa, slippery. Do for me. Okay. Time to throw some snowballs. Throw snowballs. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I see what it wants to do. I wish it showed me the PlayStation uh, inputs instead of Xbox input because it always throws me off. There we go. So far, so good. Simple. All right. Use this to jump up. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's really relaxing and the puzzling is not that difficult. Um, highlight levitation objects and switch targets with the right thumbstick. Grab and move to select the object. All right. Cool. Got it. So I want to move the first one. Highlight with left trigger. Okay. There we go. Nope. Yeah. Got it. Easy. All right. 
So highlight this, set this here. Oh. I like that. That makes it easy. Because I remember in, in the in the first game, like the, this little stuff can oh whoa. That's that's real strong. There we go. And one more. There we go. Don't knock it over. Nope. Drop it. Sweet. I don't know how, how I'm supposed to go with, up with this, but that should be good enough. Yes. Sweet. Let's keep it moving. All right, and those little tier things, I wonder what they do. It's probably some kind of upgrade system. All right, so there's another tier. Okay. That's not what I meant to do, but that, that will work. That will absolutely work. All right, cool. Um, I need you. Rotate objects with what? I can't even tell what, what button that is. Oh, it looks like the D-pad. Oh, okay, that is the D-pad. There we go. Walking all alone in the wild outdoors like this makes me miss my old adventures. But not so much all the near-death experiences. Mm-hmm. All right, we're getting through it. I am really impressed with the graphics, though. On my end, anyway. All right. Um, rotate this bad boy like that. It looks like it. Wherever I put it, it kind of stays too. It's like it does no like um, you know, gravity, I should say. On on most of these objects, anyway. So when I put it there, it just stays. Is there anything special over here? Whoa. I forgot that you can just summon you know, that, that square looking thing whenever you want. Okay, okay, I see what you want me to do. All right, fine. I will grab it. There. There we go, got it. All right, moving right along. All right, I wonder when the enemy's gonna show up. Conjure a box, so there we go. Can I just break it? Yes, I can. I bet I can only have one box at a time. The fact that he can just make boxes come out of nowhere is pretty good too. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Let me get this. Sweet. All right, some kind of lever of some sort. Got it, I already know what to do. Here we go. There we go. Highlight and then highlight a conjure box and press L3 to destroy it. Oh, sweet. Ah, my trustworthy box magic gets me up when feeling down. Haha, <laughs> funny. All right, so we need another box here, it looks like. Uh, right trigger to push it down. And will it reach? Yes. Easy. All right, I'm glad that they're giving me the. Oh, oh. oh good. All right, move this out the way. I'm glad they're giving me a tutorial of how to, you know, play this game first before they send enemies at me. Levitate the log. I don't want to. Well, I guess I have to. Yeah, I do to jump over this. Oh, and get those little tears. All right. Um, it almost looks like you can do something down there. But I don't know if I want to. Whoa. Should I try it? Yeah, I am gonna try it. Nope, that's not it. That is not it. No, that wasn't how it went. Nope, I Let's was trying to again. find some tricky trickies, but that didn't work that way. All right, cool. I really should have sent this postcard earlier to Margaret and the children. And why isn't this nearest mailbox located any closer to civilization? Okay. Box. Drop box. Lift me up box, and then we're good. Sweet. Oh no. Last night's avalanche laid waste to the bridge. Now how am I going to get to the mailbox? Nope. Oh, the guy that I helped! Oh, sweet! What an amazing goat. Thank you. Hey, little the guy. There, I was sure he was going to ram me. See? Pays to help people. I always, like, see, I always see stuff and I always, like, can I reach up there? Oh, I can! 
that's see what that's what I was trying to do. I always try to go like get stuff, you know. That's what I thought uh, would happen, but it didn't work out that last that way last time. All right, um, can I make this fall? Yes, I can. Oh, I see what y'all gonna do. Y'all want me to jump on top of this box? Ah, there we go. Can I lift this box when I'm on it? I cannot. Sweet. All right. Um, I gotta. No, that's not what I meant. There we go. Drop you down. Uh, I gotta get this first one first. Come on, come on, game. You can do it. Can can you grab the one? Up? Can you grab the one? That there we go. All right, something like that. Right. Ugh. Sweet. All right. Um, something like this. Rotate, and it'll probably stay there. Yeah, exactly. Then something like this. Uh, almost. Nope. There we go. Still, I'm still getting the hang of the controls, guys. So bear with me. Oh my gosh. All right, how about, how about I set you here for now? And then grab you. Set you there for now. And then grab you. Set you there for now. And then you should be able to stay like that. Grab my box. Now this probably isn't the prettiest. But... It's not about what's the prettiest. It's about what it's about what works. Okay. Okay, guys. Yeah. There we go. Sweet. Hmm. What's this? A letter for me. Dear Amadeus the Wizard, we, we require, require you for, for a mission, mission of the utmost urgency. urgency. Heatherwood Hall. Two years ago. You must find the missing Prince Celius, a ward of the Astral Academy. He has vanished under mysterious and troublesome circumstances. Me? Too unpredictable to learn spellcraft? I am going to learn magic. The second of our enchanted heroes was Pontius the Knight. Oh. Just before the quest was about to begin, Pontius was out and about with his duties. And to that end... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh-oh. Oh, did I just skip the dialogue? I'm sorry, guys. Alright, so these are the little levels and it tells me what we're doing. We're still in Act 1, it looks like. So let's just go ahead and do... I guess we'll do an additional level. Um, beginning of level? What? So you can pick different points. Oh, there's checkpoints you could do. Alright, let's do it. The second of our enchanted heroes was Pontius the Knight. Just before the quest was about to begin, Pontius was out and about with his duties. And to that end, he was headed towards the Cursed Manor. Okay, that was it. So we got to listen to it. Okay, great. I won't even the edit that out. The derelict manor had once belonged to a recently departed knight. After his funeral, the knight had returned from the grave, undead and bitterly wrathful and troubling to his neighbors. But Pontius had come to take care of the matter, armed with a sword, a shield, and the hope that there would be pie after his task was over. Oh, this is sweet. I do like the uh, mechanics. Man, I'm looking at my recording, guys, and I hope it's not too bad. My computer is struggling. I destroyed boxes and barrels with sword. Got it. Um, to record this. It's playing really well, but it's just struggling. Jump on the pumpkin 
to ride it? Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. All right, now I can just... Oh, sweet. I, I like the... um. Okay. Can I jump on that too? Oh, I can. It makes me jump super high. The graphics are amazing. A shame about the house. This must have been a snug little place back in the day. Oh! With tended fields full of everything that is good cool. you want to eat in a pie. <laughs> oh, I can burst it. Oh, but we don't want to burst it. I wonder if what's below. What? Can we go up though? All right, what to say? Uh, jump up in the air and stomp down with B. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Can you go up? You cannot go up. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Wonder if we get some kind of dash ability. But I cleverly chose to come here at noon. Cursed undead nights don't look so scary in the daylight. Get off. What? I need the wizard. Come on. That's what I need. Ugh. Wait, 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 wait. What if I do... S ah! No, I think I need the wizard. I, th I think I have to come back for that. I don't know how to get that, guys. If you, if you know, let me know. That looks like death down there. I don't want to find out. Alright, here we go. Huh, what? Uh, corrupt wobbling block. Wait, corrupt wobbling blocks your way. Blocks your way. Um, destroy it with light. Break the ceiling to let light in. How in the heck can I break the ceiling? Br oh! Wait. Corrupt webbing. Webbing. I don't know what I was trying to say. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. They need me to push this this way. And then... What? Come on, fat boy. He's chunky. He should be stronger than that. There we go. There we go. How in the heck... Does he have another ability that I don't know about? I don't understand. I might be here a while. What am I missing? I, we The game just... Wait a minute. The game just started, guys, and I'm already... Messing up. I'm getting stuck. So that'll let you know. You guys probably already figured it out, but I'm knowing pretty decent at this stuff. I want to go down there, but then again, I'm like, nah, I think I'll pass. Yeah, I understand that, but how do I block? What, what am I supposed to do? What is that? Is that blocking? No, that's like a heavy attack. Oh, I'm silly. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm so silly. Oh my gosh. I I'm not even going to edit that out. I think I figured it out, guys. I am so silly. Check this out. 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 I bet you do this. Jump up. Press down. Yes, that's what it is. I oh, okay, I figured it out. So jump up, and that throws you up. And that allows you to get it. Got it. And then so I can do the same thing over here. My goodness, that hurt my head. I would have been stuck here for a while. I normally cut that kind of stuff out, but I'm not going to. Don't die. Just don't die. Wow. I'm so silly. Sweet. There we go. 
I can go down, but let me make sure I'm not missing anything first. There we go. Haven't missed. I haven't missed any of those little tier-looking currency things yet. I'm, I'm assuming that's part of currency. Ooh, <gasps> use your shield with R. Oh, how amazing! Give me all of the oh, loot. I can turn into such a miserable villain that I'll never understand. There's little you understand, fellow knight. But I was once much like you. What a strange dead fellow. Wounded in combat, I became useless. I was discharged from service. I became an embarrassment to other knights. In the end, I was abandoned by my friends, by my servants, left alone to rot here in this backwater house. That's no excuse for your evil doing. I would oh, okay, I see. Did that work? Huh. Projectiles can be blocked and bounced. Oh, okay. Sweet. I wish I can blow these things up on it. I'm trying to hit them themselves. That didn't work though. There we go. What's down there? Nothing? Alright, cool. Sweet! Oh no, boss battle already. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get wrecked. I'm about to get wrecked. Alright, what am I supposed to. Oof. Okay. Is this. Is this doing anything to him? Oh, the light! That's sweet. Let's find some more lights there. Get over this guy. Oh, throw that at me. Throw your thing at me. We're trying to. Yeah, we go. Yes. Oh, I figured that out. That was sweet. Woo! Shoot your things at me. There we go. All right, uh, I'm slowly figuring it out. Ah, get out the way! Shoot, shoot, shoot your, shoot your things. There we go. Oh no, no, no! Jump over that. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it! Ah! Come on! Wait. Yes, that's what I was supposed to do. Got it. Sweet. That might have done it. That might have done it. That might have done it. Take him out. Yes. Got it. First try. Oh, a letter addressed to Sir Pontius. Well, I'll be. That's me. Good Sir Pontius the Knight. Hero of Trine. We have an unfortunate case of a missing prince, but we trust with your extraordinary skills, you'll find him swiftly. Within a dream, you summon your shadow. Recite this spell and watch it grow. Prince Celius has some talent for magic. But some time ago, he was involved in an accident using his powers. So that was the evil guy. 
So he is to be treated firmly, but gently. Our last hero was Zoya. Like Amadeus and Pontius, she was also enchanted with the mystical powers of Trine. Fate and fortune had brought her to a city overrun by merry revelry. But cheerful festivities were the last thing on Zoya's mind. As the quest was about to begin, Zoya had been up all night, doing things becoming to her secretive nature. Perhaps not all of those things she was up to were appropriate for a hero. Alright, so I said let's do one more and finish up. It looks like this is uh, three parts to each act, so let's do that. While the whole city was busy celebrating, Zoya was sneaking about with mischievous intent. An entirely honest entrepreneur would perhaps have chosen a door for their exit. I like how they go from the cutscene. There are so many paintings up there, it'll take them weeks to even notice one of them is gone. Wait, what am I doing talking to myself? Anyway, like I said, I like how they go from cutscene is right to that. It, it doesn't look like the cutscene is any less graphical, graphic-wise, than um, the actual gameplay. I really like that. Wait. Oh, jump away from the wall? Okay. I thought she could do some kind of wall run or wall glide or something. That's what I was thinking. All right. Um, Tie the rope with the book? What? X? Oh. Then what? Then just just jump. Yep, that's what you do. Okay. Okay. That wasn't actually that wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be a whole lot worse. What? I wonder. How is she shooting like that? She keeps shooting fast like that. I was wondering why. How? Okay. So levers, you just stand next to them and they move on their own. All right. Interesting. Um, aim and press to shoot arrows. Right trigger. Okay. What am I aiming at? Just a rope. Okay. Easy peasy. I want. I, I was trying to find out if there's a quick shot button. Like you know, you just press the button and it. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, got it. Oh. I, I I didn't know if it had some kind of arc on it, <laughs> but it was very fast. Oh, you can charge it up and hold it. Yeah, and then you can just let it go whenever you feel like it. Alright. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Um, hopefully I don't have to shoot too many uh, enemies with that because the... We're already late for the masquerade. Isn't it supposed to last all night? Unlike the Merry Revelers, Zoya wasn't interested in the Festival of Masks. She had an engagement of another sort. I, I was just guessing there. If I popped a balloon, something would happen, and it actually did. Oh, you can pull this. Ah, sweet. Release rope would be. Got it. Okay. Come on. I'm just trying to get these. My bobs. Um, I wonder when we would get to spin these. You know? That's what I'm worried about. Let go. Yeah. We made it with ease. What? So see, see, sometimes she just shoots. What? You can tie things together? I don't know why you would do it. Oh, I see why you would do it. Because if I see if I cut that, 
okay. Okay. I see why you would do it. Like this, and then tie it to that one. Ah, that is, that is a pretty cool mechanic. Because that thing was pulling itself back. Alright, that's pretty cool. Highlight rope targets uh, with the le left trigger switch between targets. Ah. Like this. If I let go, then what? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, I can do that. I get that part. I don't know why I would want to do that. Am I missing something? Oh, wait. Oh, that's fancy. <gasps> no, no, no. I thought I was going to lose it. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anything else to shoot here? Nope. Ropes also works. What? Rope also works as brick. Oh. What in the world? This is like a little game? Hopefully it's not run out of time. Oh, sweet. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's like, it's like a little carnival game. That's cute. All right, ropes work as bridges. And tie it there, and then I can just walk across. Man, this game has a lot of cool little quirks to it. I, I like that. All right, all right, all right. What in the... What are we supposed to do? All right, so maybe we just pull this this way. Come on, grab it. Shoot the rope, and come on. Here we go. Oh, I see what we're going to do here. Each character feels unique. Also, I like that. Like, they all feel, like, a lot different. It doesn't just feel like, you know, all the same character. I mean, I don't need to hit this one, but I will. Oh, well, eventually. I will hit it. There we go. Uh, drop down. Be oh, so she has the ability to just drop down. Got it. Now to find the doorbell. Reel the rope longer or shorter. Oh, you can shoot while hanging. Ah! It like this is a, this is a lot to remember. There's a lot of mechanics going on. A pleasure. In exchange for the stolen painting, Zoya received a purse full of gold. What? I don't even remember stealing the painting. All right, let's go. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, there we go. I kind of want to see what's over there, but at the same time, it's like, I don't want to go over there and, and nothing be there. The thief found her conscience weighing upon her. It was just a painting. Maybe the masquerade can cheer me up. Oh, come on. There we go. Ah. Uh, uh, highlight rope targets and switch between targets. It doesn't look like it's going to come back, so yeah, that was easy. I didn't need to do anything extra there. I was overthinking it. Sometimes that happens. All right, I can go across, which I will do. Grab this little tear. All right. Hopefully there's no boss battle. Oh my gosh. While she was on her way to the masquerade, Zoya happened upon a place that brought back memories. 
the town's orphanage. Oh, that's nice. At least no one's around to see this new low. Dear Zoya, prestigious hero, savior of the kingdom. We need you to bring Prince Celius back to the care of the Astro Academy. As long as he's out there alone, the prince is in certain danger. Oh, shadows. Oh, it was just a nightmare. Oh. Awaiting news of your success, Wilhelmina, wizardess of the Astral Academy and representative of the Grand Council. Yeah, that's not good. The many letters sent by the Master Wizardess directed our three heroes to a rocky and wind-beaten heath. There, they were to search for Celius, the mysteriously vanished prince. Uh, guys, i not sure, but this looks like it's still a part of it, but um, I, think, I think I'm going to cut it there. I think that's pretty long enough for the first episode. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying watching this game as much as I'm enjoying playing it. If you'd like to see more, just hit that like button fast, early, and often. It signals to me that you guys want to see me playing this game. But if you don't, it means, hey, maybe I should be investing my time somewhere else. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.